All right, welcome back to Board Reviews. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And we're checking out something that we've not checked out yet on this channel. I've seen this on my own, he has not. Right. We're checking out George Carlin. Now, I'm sure you probably recognize him from Bill and Ted's. He plays Rufus from that. He's the guy from the future. I think they're liaison. I, that's not where we recognize him from. I worked for the MGM for like 20 years. And he what used to be a big fixture here in Vegas. He was one of the big comedians. And now... Uh, he passed away. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, even before that, he was gone. Now, right now, like the big comedians in town, Andrew Dice Clay, I don't know if you remember him. Yeah. He's, at, I think, at the Tropicana. Um, what's the tall dude from Raymond? Everybody loves Raymond. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's got Brad a, Garrett. Yeah, Brad Garrett. He's got a comedy club at MGM. Um, like, there's a few comedy guys. The, the the real big one is the guy with the puppets. I forget his name yeah. or whatnot. But Vegas has always been known for comedy shows as well as other shows. So that's why I know. Because people used to... Terry Fader. Yeah, 15, 20 years ago, people used to go to his show all the time. And I remember two things. He's super uh, uh, vulgar, and he used to always go in on politics. Yeah. And I'm just like, I never saw one of his shows because I'm like, you know what, dude? When you live here, there's so many shows. You can't afford to go on all of them or whatever, especially when I'm younger and I had that extra income available. But um, it's funny you say he died. I didn't realize he died, man. Yeah, I think he died, I don't know, maybe five years ago or so, maybe less than that, a little more than that. But this is a video, and I haven't watched all of his stuff, but this is one I came upon and I just absolutely love it years ago. So I'm excited for him to check it out. This is baseball versus football. And I, if it's the one I know of, unless he has several sports ones, he talks about the lingo and different things about the differences with the two sports. We're both huge baseball fans. We both love football as, all, as well. But baseball, both of our, is our number one sport. So I, I know you'd enjoy this. If you like our reaction, you want us to react to more George Carlin or other comedians, let us know. But for this one, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And please let this be the one I think it is. I mean, how many baseball ones does he have, you know? That's a good question. Here we go. I'd like to talk a little bit about baseball and football. <laughs> Starting with baseball. Baseball is different from any other sport in a lot of different little ways. For instance, in most sports, you score points or you score goals. In baseball, you score runs. In most sports, the ball or the object is put in play by the offensive team. In baseball, the defense puts the ball in play, and only the defensive team is allowed to touch the ball. In fact, in baseball, if an offensive player touches the ball intentionally, he's out. Also, most sports, the team is run by a coach. In baseball, the team is run by a manager. And only in baseball does the manager or the coach have to wear the same uniform the players do. <laughs> Can you picture Bill Parcells in his New York Giants uniform? <laughs> Uh, Isn't that crazy? Uh, now, baseball and football no, are different from one another in other kind of interesting ways, I think. First of all, um, baseball is a 19th century pastoral game. Football is a 20th century technological struggle. <laughs> baseball is played on a diamond in a park, the baseball park. <laughs> football is played on a gridiron in a stadium sometimes called Soldier Field or War Memorial Stadium. <laughs> Baseball begins in the spring, the season of new life. Football begins in the fall when everything is dying. <laughs> in football, you wear a helmet. In baseball, you wear a cap. <laughs> Football is concerned with downs. What down is it? Baseball is concerned with ups. Who's up? Are you up? I'm not up. He's up. <laughs> in football, the specialist comes in to kick. In baseball, the specialist comes in to relieve someone. <laughs> in football, you receive a penalty. In baseball, you make an error. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> right through the legs. Football has hitting, clipping, spearing, blocking, piling on, late hitting, unnecessary roughness, and personal fouls. Baseball has the sacrifice. <laughs> football is played in any kind of weather. 
Rain, sleet, snow, hail, mud. Can't read the numbers on the field. Can't read the yard markers. Can't read the players' numbers. The struggle will continue. <laughs> In baseball, if it rains, we don't come out to play. <laughs> I can't come out to play. It's raining oh, out. <laughs> So Baseball has a seventh inning stretch. Football has the two minute warning. <laughs> Baseball has no time limit. We don't know when it's going to end. We might have extra innings. Football is rigidly timed and it will end even if we have to go to sudden death. <laughs> In baseball, during the game in the stands, there's kind of a picnic feeling. Emotions may run high or low, but there's not that much unpleasantness. In football, in the stands, during the game, you can be sure that at least 27 times you are perfectly capable of taking the life of a fellow human being. <laughs> Preferably a stranger. True. And finally, the objectives of the two games are totally different. In football, the object is for the quarterback, otherwise known as the field general, to be on target with his aerial assault, riddling the defense by hitting his receivers with deadly accuracy, in spite of the blitz, even if he has to use the shotgun. <laughs> with short bullet passes and long bombs, he marches his troops into enemy territory, balancing this aerial assault with a sustained ground attack which punches holes in the forward wall of the enemy's defensive line. <laughs> oh, gosh. In baseball, the object is to go home <laughs> and to be safe. I hope I'll be safe at home. <laughs> safe at home. He's so stupid. <laughs> oh, isn't man. It, isn't it crazy, though? He's the things that he came up with that are true, by the way, to a certain extent. Right. How it's all about this and safe at home. I sacrifice someone. <laughs> Dude, and, you know, it's a funny video. I'm mad though because a lot of times, oh, baseball is so boring and baseball. So you even had that, that like, oh, baseball is for wussies or whatever. Like, look, they know nowadays you watch it. These guys throw 100 miles an hour. You get hit with a 100 mile an hour fastball because it, it's going to hurt. I knew you, know? you were going to take it personally, but it's but, it, but it was, but it was, But it was a funny video and even like the, the little nuances that. Imagine, I remember I was reading, uh, we were doing, it might have been um, text structure, and we were doing a description passage, and we were describing the game of international football, right? And I was thinking to myself, if anybody described a game to me that I had never seen, and I was just taking the description, I'd be like, God, I don't want to watch this. This is a new stuff. And even like when he was explaining the field general, you know, with precision passing uh, to the wide receivers, or even if they got to use a shotgun. What? Huh? Like when you think about it, and we watch football. Football's fun. It's exciting. But he made it sound like so monotonous and so just, uh, it, it was it was really, really fun the way he did it. And he's really clever oh, that fantastic. way. Fantastic, yeah. He's really clever that way. Uh I mean, for the longest time, people were like, oh, baseball is America's ba 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 pastime. It's the biggest sport in the world, blah, 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 blah. Biggest sport. At, well, it's not the biggest sport in the world, but the biggest sport in America, I should say. And it has been long since. I mean, the NBA took it over, unfortunately. And it's football. Is now, do that. You know that they're having games this year coming up in three different countries, I believe it is. It's Mexico, Germany, and uh, where else? I, I, I saw. Yeah, yeah. The oh, NFL. England. Well, the England game, so yeah, so England, Germany, and Mexico. And now even the Major League Baseball is actually following their coattails. The Yankees are doing a game that I think you guys did before. Was it with the Dodgers out in Mexico? The Yankees are going to Mexico. Those are Giants, yeah. They're going to Korea. Right. Remember the Padres? I think it was the Padres. They opened also a few years ago, like in Japan. Like they've they've done this for a little while. Actually. Yeah, they're trying to like get that international. Your, your boys audience. with the Red Sox went yeah. over to um, England. Oh, right? dude, that was the most glorious game. I remember. It was like. A hundred feet for the outfield wall. Guys were hitting bombs. It was like Cooperstown. And everybody that's knows Cooperstown in New York where Cooperstown, Little League World Series uh, out there. The, 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 dude, it's like 200 to the wall. I think the deepest might be 220. And guys, and you know, 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds bombed that. Not that, I, I forgot where they played, but it was a super small uh, area. I think well, it wasn't a baseball field, it was right? A baseball they field. had to convert it. Dude, guys were hitting bombs. Those pitches were like, holy cow. what it was. 
Gosh, it's it me wasn't crazy. Wembley. I forget where it was at. Let us know. But yeah, yeah Yankees, Red Sox. I remember first inning, yeah, Red Sox put up like eight right. runs, and nine was, runs. And you're like, oh, oh gosh, gosh, we're done. Here goes. And then wow. the bottom of the inning, the Yankees put up like 12. Like, holy cow. It was it's exciting. A, oh, my God. It's a, it's a slugfest. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I love baseball. But I can get behind the jokes that he's saying right there because he's right. A lot of those war terms are used in football yeah. through the years, right? And, I mean, the thing with the manager wearing the uniform of the players, like, that is hilarious because you don't I have... I never thought about that. I mean, imagine a hockey coach wearing the hockey gear. He's sit... hey, go. Like, why am I wearing this? I'm not going out on the ice. As a matter of fact, like, one of the most controversial things in the NFL was Bill Belichick and now the dude, uh, Mike McDaniels from Florida, that they were like, you know, Bill Belichick with the with the pullover hoodie and yeah. the, you know, cut off sleeves and the, the dude from Miami with the same thing, the pull it over hoodie. And he's got like the, 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 you know, the joggers on or whatever. Like, you know, you used to seeing those NFL coaches be professional, suit and tie, well, Bill Parcells. Yeah. And, so, yeah, yeah. and it was almost blasphemous to see them on the sideline not doing it. But those guys are winning, so they get away with it. You know what I mean? But there's like, almost a culture of like, yeah, you're not wearing a uniform. That's what the players wear. But, you know, it actually, it made the way for like, you now you see them as long as they're wearing a logo of the team with an NFL logo somewhere, they're good. It's all about endorsing that sport while they're out there as okay. the coaches. This was hilarious. Let us know what you thought, your thoughts are. If you want to check out more, please let us know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. We know all things.